Katia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. Good day and sweaty cub and duck and cover and be warned because we're not just physically vulnerable now, we're technologically vulnerable. Yeah, digital information is changing, uh, everything from how you keep your legal assets to how to protect your security uh, by protecting your devices is getting more and more important and harder to do. And we're so electronically dependent. This is Bud Dooley, he's a genuine, genuine tech expert and he graced us with his presence and I helped him give some part of the talk. I, I was the comic relief really. And so there's really two parts to the talk today and there probably will be in two parts. One is full of information, very practical information on why use a VPN, which browser to use, how to protect your electronic inheritance and pass it on to people who come after you. And then Bud took over from my comic relief and he did what, did, what was the second part on? It was on how to prepare yourself for long-term power interruptions with the energy grid, uh, several ways it could be compromised. So how to protect yourself from outages of two days to two weeks or longer, how to prepare supplies and be pre ready for that, what to do during and after those kind of issues. And there's a, a summary sheet. How can I get hold of a summary sheet? Uh, I put a tips sheet together, uh, a checklist of things to have before, during, and after. It's available on the website. Uh, if you want to look it up, it's available to download. Off the PCEC.club website. So PCEC.club website. And if we really get our act together, we might be able to attach it to the YouTube video with a bit of oh, yeah. l luck. Yeah. So um, we could, I mean, it's, so much was covered. So much was covered. But if you've got a if you've got any concern about how vulnerable you are, well, you should. Absolutely. Um, today, there are many new risks that weren't even thought of two years ago. Uh, and uh, we prevent a lot of cheap, inexpensive, but high quality solutions that people can do. Uh, in the long run, it ends up saving you money in many cases, regardless of whether there's an outage or not. Uh, and protect you and your loved ones. I hope they can uh, find this information useful and pass it on to others to help many people be prepared for what's expected to be long-term outages for short uh, energy grid problems for the next few years. So take that in, energy grid problems for the next few years. And that's without somebody, North Korea, setting off a nuclear bomb in the atmosphere and wiping out a whole continent's electronics and information. Oh my God, that's scary. But also one of the other things that I always remember that I'm going to do is you can actually buy quite cheap solar chargers for your phone. Uh, solar chargers for phone, um, a radio, and um, other electronic devices is a very good idea. It's a good backup uh, during any type of outage as well as uh, you know an alternative way for you to keep uh, your devices charged, keep access to it. There are now solar generators too that are very inexpensive and a great alternative power source. Yeah, so you just think about how much valuable it could be. You have protected your elect some of your electronics thing, maybe, maybe you got a cheap backup phone in a Faraday cage. What do the Faraday, Faraday cage slash Faraday bags do? So if there's a concern with some type of radio RF frequency problems, uh, overload, for example, an EMP, uh, a Faraday bag protects your electronic devices from being damaged from this. So your thumb drives with all your passwords in can survive, your backup phone can survive with all the phone numbers in, and also just very practical things. You know, we, we take it for granted, right? How do we get around nowadays, right? This is where our maps are. This is where we communicate with people, oh, let, let meet me at this place in 15 minutes. If it all goes down, how, how, are you going to, how are you going to link up with your loved ones? You need a plan where you both say, okay, if this happens, this is where we meet. If we have an outage of even a week, uh, most people live in the age of technology and they don't know how to get from point A to point B without a GPS on the phone. So I try to provide some help on how to survive during some kind of long-term outage and some very helpful guidance as to easy ways and simple things you can do to protect you and your loved ones. And if you're a business, you really should be doing a lot to protect your customers' records. Like in Australia, they lost like 
10 million customers' records got hacked. And one of the points you made, not in this talk, but just to me generally, is that companies are not paying experts to do the most they can to protect them. Uh, there is, it seems like profit has become more important than uh, security. And uh, without, you know, it's, it's a general statement, but uh, it, it's more of a concern now than ever as it gets easier to hack, as more people are trying to hack, and as data is uh, more readily available for everyone, it gets more and more important. It's protected, and yes, there's a lot of hacking going on in major companies. Should be employing somebody like Bart, who's a genuine expert at, at, at protecting people from cyber, protecting companies, etc., from cyber penetration. The other thing too that Bud taught me, I've changed my main browser from Chrome to Brave. It's a much more independent one. It blocks a lot of tracker. So it's, uh, it saves you time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I now my search engine is now DuckDuckGo, and that stops you AI directing you so much, right? Um, there's a number of different search engines you can use. We discussed today how a browser is different from a, a search engine, and uh, some are more private and more unbiased than others. Uh, I find DuckDuckGo is is better service. Yeah, you want to actually look at a Netflix documentary called The Social Dilemma, and it's about how AI streams you to where you seem to want to go. So if you click on right-wing propaganda, it will stream you to right-wing propaganda, and so you'll just be confirmed in your prejudices, etc. Whereas with something like DuckDuckGo, you're going to get a more independent type search. Yeah, the algorithms are very complicated. It's hard to even follow what they're doing, but uh, they do tend to uh, be a little biased in whatever your previous search uh, avenue was. Therefore, you're not getting clear information that you're requesting in a lot of cases with some search engines. So I, I recommend DuckDuckGo as one of the better search engines. Yeah, the documentary, This Social Dilemma, they interviewed one of the founding brains behind Google and stuff and said, uh, what's your biggest worry with AI and stuff? And he, and he said, civil war because people are being streamed to their prejudices, right? And this was before the invasion of Washington and everything, so yeah. So try to get independent, try to get protected, have a look at the talk, take you know some time out of your life and really think about how you can use a VPN, use a password, more password security, have a plan in case there's disasters, which will nowadays be not just physical, but electronic. And thanks, Bud, for all your wonderful sharing of your amazing information that you have. You're welcome. I appreciate it.